What's going on everyone? I'm Dustin. Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. Week 4 is in the books. The first week of the buys. Let me tell you, it wasn't a good week to own a lot of Broncos and Bengals. It was hard, hard getting through that one, but we're through week 4. We're on to week 5. And as always, let's take a look at the people you should be adding on the waiver wire. We'll start with the running backs, and I'm going to keep talking about him until he gets picked up in more leagues, but that's Bishop Shanky. He's going, he is the future at running back for them. It's going to happen this year. He's only on 60% of leagues. He needs to be owned in more leagues. You know, they keep talking about his footwork and how it needs to improve, but they're saying it's improving, so hopefully that means more touches for him. I still think Sankey must add all leagues. Lorenzo Taliaferro, and we talked about him last week. Justin Forsett played better than him week four, but I still just don't see why I, I, just, I just don't like Forsett as much long term. You know, I think the rookie is, is going to be the better option for their long long term. You know, Forsett's been around long enough to where we know what he's capable of. And Taliaferro, I think, is a more exciting runner. So Bernard Pierce is still gonna be factored in probably as well. You know, they held him out for precautionary reasons. It's kind of a mess, but until it gets sorted out, I think this rookie needs to be owned in more leagues. Let's talk about the Minnesota situation. Matt Asiata. I know everyone wants, is going to be talking about Jarek McKinnon, and for good reason. I think McKinnon is obviously what everyone's been talking about, the, the superior talent. But Asiata is better than people are giving him credit for. Now, don't look too much into the numbers from this last week. They played a terrible run defense. And McKinnon, while it was in very limited touches over the last few weeks, his yards per carry was just as low as Asiata's. So, don't go crazy thinking that you know McKinnon's going to be the next big thing, but he needs to be owned in all leagues because it's possible that he could be. But I still see this as kind of a you know thunder and lightning type thing. I, I don't think it's just going to get turned over to McKinnon. I think Asiata is still good enough to be you know part of the the equation there. Maybe like a Fred Jackson, C.J. Spiller type thing. You know where where McKinnon has more fantasy value. But Jackson still gets enough touches and probably the goal lines to, to be relevant. So I think both these guys should be owned in all leagues at this point because it doesn't look like AP's coming back anytime soon. And a couple of handcuffs to talk about. Anton Smith for Atlanta and Andre Williams for the Giants. You know, here's the thing. Steven Jackson, no faith in him staying healthy. You know, I've been high on Freeman all year thinking that he was going to be the one to own. But as of right now, it looks like Anton Smith's the guy to own. And for Andre Williams... You know, Rashad Jennings is an older running back. He hasn't he hasn't had that many carries in the NFL, but he is a little bit older. And with the workload that he's had so far this year for the Giants, I'm not so sure he's going to last. So Andre Williams is a very high upside handcuff. I think all Steven Jackson owners, all Rashad Jennings owners need to consider adding these guys to their bench. And then one other guy to add in deeper leagues for running backs is Brandon Oliver. I talked about him last week. I was watching a little bit of the Chargers game. And I could have swore looking out there at number 43 that Darren Sproles was out there. You know, Oliver's a, a, a smaller running back, but he's got some thick legs. He's going to be a very um, versatile player for the Chargers. I think he could kind of go into that Danny Woodhead role. It's kind of what they look like they're going to use him for. So I think he should be added in deeper leagues. I think they're going to find a spot for him. And yet again, you know, Donald Brown proves that he's really not that good of a running back. So I think when Matthews comes back, I think Oliver could actually have more value than Donald Brown. So I think Oliver should be owned in more leagues. Take a look at wide receivers. We got Brian Quick, only on 45% of leagues. You know, off to an amazing start the first three weeks, had a bye week four, so I think that's why a lot of people didn't pick him up, but it's time to start picking this guy up. I know he plays for the Rams, I know it's a bad offense, but he's good. He's been good so far. He's been consistently involved all three weeks. He needs to be owned in more leagues. Eddie Royal's a receiver to look at in deeper leagues. You know, I wanted to talk about him because I know, you know a lot of people are going to think about picking him up. And he should be picked up in a lot of leagues, but don't go crazy over him. It was a little fluky. We know what Eddie Royal can do. We know he has these games from time to time, but he's not someone you're necessarily going to want to count on from week to week. So don't go out there using the number one waiver on Eddie Royal or spending $80 of your fab money on him. He is worth picking up, but don't go crazy over him. One quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. He did get banged up. Uh, week four, but they're saying they don't think it's that serious. But he looked pretty good. He actually, you know, brought some life into that uh, into that Minnesota offense. And I think Bridgewater, you know, because of what he can do with his legs, I think he can be a serviceable fantasy quarterback. Top 15, top 20 type range, maybe even better. Who knows? 
But I think he's worth picking up just to see what he can do. Any type of deeper league if you're looking for a high upside QB too. Take a look at some tight ends. You know, a lot of tight end injuries over the last couple of weeks. So there's a lot of teams out there looking for one. And you know, Larry Donnell, only on the 60% of leagues. We all saw what he did Thursday night on Thursday Night Football, and I don't think it's a fluke. This guy is a beast, and Eli's looking his way. Eli obviously trusts him at this point, especially in the red zone. He's a guy that could have solid value for the rest of the year. Jared Cook's another guy that I think is worth taking a look at. Only on 20% of leagues, kind of the same deal with Quick. You know, he had a good week three, and then he had his bye, so I don't think a lot of people picked him up, but he's coming back from the bye, and Cook is serviceable you know he's been around for a little bit he hasn't really had any monster years but there's he's still young enough to where we may not have seen the best out of him so i still think there's some upside with cook i like him for the rest of the year and then clay harbor is another interesting tight end you know, he was uh he made a season debut week week four he looked pretty good he got a decent amount of targets blake bortles looked his way a decent amount you know a lot of times rookie rookie quarterbacks will look at their tight end you know, if they trust their tight end kind of as a safety valve. Harbor got a decent amount of targets. He's a guy that I like. A couple pick up and play defenses for you. We got New Orleans. Going to be at home going up against Tampa Bay. New Orleans D didn't look that great against the Cowboys, but you know, I, I still think they'll be able to get some pressure on Glennon and maybe force, you know, pick six or a couple of turnovers. And then I like Philly going up against the Rams. You know, Philly's D's looked pretty good, especially fantasy-wise. You know, they had put up monster point totals week four, so I do think uh, Philly's a good pick up and play defense going up against the Rams. It's just a portion of list. list. If you want to see the full list, get onto the website. And Brent and I will be back later this week, but we'll be shooting Thursday instead of Wednesday, so check out the video on Thursday. I'm Dustin. If you got any questions, post them in the forums.